Did Cleopatra's exceptional intelligence and political acumen truly match her beauty, or is her allure merely a myth? Well, let's unveil the 10 weird facts and myths about Cleopatra. Number one, Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of Egypt. Well, that's pretty much spot on. Cleopatra was the very last of the pharaohs, and she brought the curtain down on the long-running Ptolemaic dynasty. Let's set the stage a bit. Egypt had seen its fair share of pharaohs over the centuries, going all the way back to the time of the pyramids. But by Cleopatra's era, Egypt was under the rule of a bunch of Greeks called the Ptolemies. They'd been in charge for more than 300 years. Now, what makes Cleopatra stand out is that she wasn't just another Greek ruler. Nope, she had a unique trick up her sleeve. She decided to learn the Egyptian language, which wasn't something her Ptolemaic predecessors bothered with. Why? Well, it was a pretty smart move. It showed respect for the Egyptian people and their culture, which helped her win over their hearts. So when Cleopatra took the throne, it marked the end of the line for the Ptolemaic dynasty, and she went down in history as the last pharaoh of Egypt. She mixed a bit of Egyptian flair with her Greek heritage, and that made her reign a memorable one. Number two, Cleopatra was a great beauty. Let's talk about Cleopatra's looks. You might have heard that she was this stunning beauty who could make anyone fall in love with her just by batting her eyelashes. Well, it turns out that might not be entirely true. You see, there's no real evidence to support the idea that Cleopatra was drop-dead gorgeous. In fact, if you take a look at some old coins and statues from her time, they don't exactly show her as a supermodel. Some of those sculptures depict her with a long nose and a pretty noticeable chin. Not exactly what we'd call today's Hollywood standard of beauty, right? But wait, there's more. A Roman historian named Plutarch, who lived around the same time as Cleopatra, wrote that her beauty wasn't all that remarkable. He basically said, hey, she's not the most beautiful person on the planet. So, it seems like Cleopatra's charm might have had more to do with her personality and intelligence than her looks. Number three, Cleopatra was a polyglot. So you might have heard that Cleopatra was a bit of a language wizard. She supposedly spoke not one, not two, but nine different languages. That's like having a pocket dictionary for half the known world in her brain. Pretty impressive, right? Now, here's the scoop. Old Plutarch, the Roman historian, talked about Cleopatra being a total language pro. He said she was fluent in nine languages. Imagine that. She could chat away in Egyptian, Greek, Latin, Hebrew, Arabic, Syrian, Median, Persian, and Ethiopian. Phew, that's quite the list. But here's the thing, Plutarch was a fan of Cleopatra, and he might have exaggerated a bit. Still, there's no doubt she was one smart cookie. Speaking all those languages back in her time was like having the ultimate superpower. What this tells us is that Cleopatra was not just a pretty face on a coin. She was a scholar, a linguist, and an educated queen who wanted to connect with her diverse subjects. Her linguistic skills showed respect for her people and their cultures. Number four, Cleopatra bathed in milk. You might have heard the story that Cleopatra had a thing for milk baths, like she'd soak herself in a tub full of milk and just chill. It's a bit of a famous tale, but is it really true? Well, let's dive into it. People say Cleopatra had this habit of bathing in milk. Why? Well, back then, folks believed that milk could make your skin all soft and milky smooth, like an ancient beauty hack, if you will. But here's the twist. There's no real proof Cleopatra actually did this. Historians like Plutarch, who were kind of like the gossip columnists of their day, described Cleopatra as having modest habits. Now, imagine someone with modest habits chilling in a bath filled with gallons of milk. It sounds a bit extravagant, right? Plus, Cleopatra was a queen, and queens usually had a lot on their plate, like running a whole kingdom. While milk baths might sound cool, it's a bit iffy whether she actually had the time and desire to indulge in such a lavish spa day. The verdict on Cleopatra's milk baths, it's more like a myth than a fact. She might have had some beauty secrets up her sleeve, but bathing in milk? Well, that's a story that's a bit harder to swallow. Number five, 
Cleopatra was a skilled diplomat and negotiator. She formed alliances with two of the most powerful men in the Roman world, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. All right, picture this. Cleopatra, not just a pretty face, but a sharp mind. She had this incredible knack for making friends in high places. First, she cozied up to Julius Caesar, one of the big shots in ancient Rome. Cleopatra knew how to use her charm, intelligence and charisma to win him over. With Caesar on her side, she secured her throne in Egypt, which was no small feat. But Cleopatra wasn't satisfied with just one powerful ally. Nope, she set her sights on Mark Antony next. He was another heavyweight in Roman politics. Cleopatra's diplomatic skills were in full swing again. She worked her magic on Antony, and before you knew it, they were a power couple for the ages. See, Cleopatra's ability to form and maintain alliances with these mighty men was like her secret weapon. It wasn't just luck, it was her sheer brilliance at politics. She used these relationships to keep Egypt secure and maintain her own position as the ruler. Number six, Cleopatra killed herself with an ass bite. This one's a bit of a thriller, the way Cleopatra met her end. You might have heard that she met her doom by getting bitten by a deadly snake called an asp, but hold on, it's not that straightforward. The story goes that Cleopatra, the famous Egyptian queen, decided to check out early from this world. She wanted to avoid being captured by her enemies, who were closing in on her. And the rumor is, she chose an asp to do the job. Now, an asp is a venomous snake, but here's the thing, its bite isn't always fatal. It can be nasty, no doubt, but not always deadly. Historians like Plutarch, who's kind of like our ancient reporter on this, wrote about Cleopatra's death. He mentioned that she was found dead with two tiny holes on her arm, but he didn't say for sure that it was an asp bite that did her in. There are some other theories too, like maybe she used some different poison. Whatever the case, the asp story is the most famous version of her death, but it's not set in stone. So Cleopatra's final moments remain a bit of a historical mystery, keeping us all intrigued and guessing. Number seven. Cleopatra was a patron of the arts and sciences. You see, Cleopatra wasn't just a ruler, she was also quite the brainiac. She had this impressive library in Alexandria, a place buzzing with all sorts of wisdom. It was like the Google of ancient times, but way cooler. This library wasn't just big, it was massive. Imagine having over 700,000 scrolls filled with knowledge on everything you could think of. Stories, history, science, and deep thoughts about life. But it didn't stop there. Cleopatra wasn't just into reading. She had a thing for gazing at the stars, too. She wasn't your average stargazer. She was a real-deal astronomer. She could probably spot a constellation or two and tell you what it all meant. She was even good with numbers, coming up with clever gadgets to measure the sun's height. If you thought Cleopatra was all about fancy parties and Egyptian glamour, think again. She had her own brainy side, creating this amazing hub of knowledge and reaching for the stars, literally. Number 8. Cleopatra was a promiscuous seductress. You've probably heard some wild stories about her, like how she was this seductive temptress who had Julius Caesar and Mark Antony wrapped around her finger. Sure, she had these high-profile relationships with Caesar and Antony, two big shots in ancient Rome. Some folks might think she was just using her charm to get what she wanted. But let's set the record straight. Cleopatra wasn't just some pawn in their political games. Nope, she was a ruler in her own right. She knew how to play the political game like a pro. She used those relationships strategically to protect her kingdom and secure her own power. See... Egypt was a big deal back then. Cleopatra needed powerful allies, and Caesar and Antony fit the bill. So, she worked her charisma, but she also knew how to negotiate and make deals. Cleopatra wasn't just lounging around looking pretty. She was a master diplomat and negotiator. She had to navigate the complicated world of ancient politics, and she did it with brains, not just beauty. Cleopatra was a smart cookie, who understood the power of alliances. So, while the gossip might focus on her love life, don't forget that she was a formidable leader who knew how to hold her own in a tough, male-dominated world. In a nutshell, 
Cleopatra was more than just a seductress. She was a savvy politician and a force to be reckoned with in the ancient world. Number nine, Cleopatra was a skilled physician. As it turns out, she was a bit of a medical genius too. Her special manuscript, known as the Cosmetics, was like a treasure chest of over 700 ancient beauty recipes and cures for all sorts of problems. From cosmetics to curing ailments, Cleopatra had it all figured out. Imagine Cleopatra whipping up lotions and potions, mixing honey and almond oil for that perfect skin glow, or concocting herbal remedies to cure headaches. She was way ahead of her time. Her medical treatise isn't just a collection of random scribbles, it's one of the oldest pieces of medical literature known to humankind. It shows that Cleopatra had some serious knowledge when it came to medicine and pharmacology. Number 10. Cleopatra was black. Now this one's got some twists and turns. First off, yes, Egypt is in Africa, and many people think that since Cleopatra lived there, she must have been black. But hold on to your chariots, because it's not that simple. Cleopatra was actually descended from good old Macedonian Greeks. That's right, her family tree had roots in Greece. So here's the deal. She probably didn't have the dark skin some folks imagine. In fact, ancient coins and statues of Cleopatra tend to show her with light hair and fair skin. Now, it's essential to remember that beauty standards and depictions of people in ancient times might not have been super accurate. But these are the images we've got to go on. While Egypt might be in Africa, Cleopatra herself likely had fairer features due to her Greek heritage. But hey, skin color doesn't define a person's greatness, right? Cleopatra was renowned for her intelligence, diplomacy, and political savvy, not the color of her skin. In the end, Cleopatra's legacy goes way beyond what she looked like. She was a queen, a ruler, and a figure who left a mark on history regardless of her skin tone. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then here is another banger for you. Click the video on the screen right now and take a look. And as always, thanks for watching.